Hello everybody and welcome to Skirt Garage. And yes, I'm not gonna make you guys wait at all to see these new wheels I have. They are too beautiful to wait. And here they are. Uh, these are gorgeous. And I think what I'm gonna do today is actually make this video a little bit different from ones I've made in the past. I think what I want to do is, first off, just show you the wheels, tell you what specs I have, that way, if you guys are just coming here to know what I have, what I'm running, and what it looks like on the car, you can quickly watch that and go buy your wheels. And I'm also going to, after that, tell you if I needed to do any modifications to the car, like if I needed to roll the fenders. So with all that, guys, we're gonna get this video started. And to do so, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the camera, turn around, show you what it looks like on the car and walk you through the offset, the specs, the rim diameter, and all that good stuff. So with that, let's get this video started. All right, guys, these are the wheels. And man, are they just beautiful. Gosh, this looks so good, especially against the Nardo Gray. Uh, yeah, I, I can't say enough good things. So these are the Wed Sport uh, SA20R wheels. Not very common, not too many people have these on their car, and I don't know why they don't, because I just think they look fantastic. Especially, like I said, the, the black wheel against the yellow brake caliper with that little silver lip to, I guess, kind of accent the silver F logo there and kind of just generally on the car with some of the other chrome features that it has, it looks amazing. And it really adds some dimension to the wheel. Um, I think that it's really easy to buy, you know, black wheels and lose a lot of the character or dimension or visual design of a wheel if it's all black. But a little hint of silver is, uh, is, is really nice on this, on this car. Another thing that's kind of cool is these Wed Sport wheels, you can't really tell, but the like rim itself has an, like an angle to it, an angle that like bends in. So if you're standing back here, you're only gonna be able to really see the lip from the top half of it. See so down kind of over there, you can't really tell that it, there's a lip on it. It's just kind of unique when you're walking up to the car or away from it, uh, one little design characteristic that you can see. Okay, now let's get on to the spec of the wheel real quick. So in the rear, I can tell you right now that is a 19 inch, nine and a half inch rim with a 38 offset. So normally, we're gonna go into offsets and all that crap later, but normally this car comes, I can show you what it looks like when you stand right on top of the fender. You can just about make it out, and I think it looks so good. You can see the tire almost immediately trying to poke out. So good, let me show you from over here. Okay, now I can kind of tell you. So normally the car comes with a nine inch rim and I believe it's a 55 offset. So we essentially gained 55, 38, 17. Is that right? 17? millimeters extra and then we also added a 0.5 inch wider rim and 0.5 inches equates to about uh, six millimeters extra of width also so i think when you add all of that up the 17 plus the whatever i just said six so i think overall we gained about 23 millimeters of positive or i guess uh, just pushing out spacing of the wheel and that 23 millimeters is just looking absolutely fire on the rear tire. That rhymed. Unintentional. Fire on the rear tire. And I think that it is perfect. And uh, for me and for my taste, it looks very, very, very good. Okay, let's move up to the front. The front is a little bit different. Um, I know these are really prone to getting a lot of rock chips. So I went just a little bit less aggressive, but not much. If you look straight down on the wheel, you can still see that it's trying to poke out pretty early. So I would not say that it's sunk in. It's almost, it's about maybe two or three millimeters away from being pretty close to flush. But on the front, I went with an eight and a half width and also 38 offset. I think the stock car comes with a 45 offset and an eight inch front uh, tire or 
whatever rim. So I gained about six from the rim and then another seven from the offset. So when you add those up, you're at 13. So essentially I gained 13 millimeter spacer in the front and like I said, pretty hefty in the rear, 23. So that is the positive gains that I got with uh, regards to the spacing and pushing out of the wheels. And I think it just looks absolutely awesome. Like I said, and like others have told me, it has completely changed the look of this car. Now it looks totally different. Very, very, very aggressive. I do want to do something eventually about this uh, gap right here. Right now it's almost three fingers, maybe two if I go all the way to the top, but there is some space there that I'd like to get rid of eventually. Um, yeah, let's, let's talk about uh, tire width now. In the rear, I went with a 275-30, and in the front, I went with a 255-35. And the tires that I put on are the Indy 500 uh, Firestone tires. And guys, they're amazing. I think that, you know, they're a little heavy. If you compare the same width uh, and size tire against like a comparative Michelin Pilot 4S, I do think that these are a little bit heavier than those tires. I don't know if it's because the tread depth is actually thicker and bigger or what, but for whatever reason, the tires are heavier. On that same subject, the wheels themselves are actually super lightweight. Um, I have a before weight of each wheel I'll put up on the screen now, the front and the rear. But yeah, very lightweight. I think because the tires are heavier, I didn't actually gain any um, weight loss in this setup. It also could be because the wheels I took off were bald, uh, the tires that is, and the ones I'm putting on now have a full tread block, so that also will affect the weight. Okay, now I know a lot of you guys are gonna want to know, does the car rub? And I'm happy to report that it does not rub at all. Now, in preparation for this, I have to be honest, I did roll the fenders in the rear. I rolled them just in case, and I am kind of glad I am because in the rear, it's tight. I think, you know, when you go deeper back, you only have one finger. Up here, you might be able to get two. But what ends up happening is in this wheel arch, the under the wheel well, it's flat and then it starts to really round down. So like over here, it's pretty tall, it goes up a bit, but as you start to get closer and closer to the fender, it starts to really rake down. So uh, I think the two, 235, sorry, 275, 30 in the rear with as much offset as I have is absolutely perfect. In the front, it does leave a little bit to be desired. I do kind of wish um, I had my car on springs or on coilovers, and I think that that is going to be coming here pretty quick. But I would love to get rid of like at least, you know, I don't know, an inch maybe in the front. But okay, that's kind of everything. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is take a seat and I'm gonna tell you guys some popular choices that people like to run on these cars. And then I'll also tell you a little bit more about how to decide uh, the offset that you need to get for your car. So let me sit down and I'll tell you guys real quick. Okay guys, let's quickly talk about um, how to choose your offset. So when you're going to buy wheels for your car, it's really important that you start off by knowing what your car currently has when it leaves the factory. So you need to know your tire size and you also need to know the offset of your wheels from the factory and you also need to know the width of your wheels from factory. You need to know all of those things because they serve as a baseline for what you are then going to do. For example, the ISF um, from factory, they have 225, 40, 19 front tires and 255, 35, 19 rear tires. And when you put those into an online website called tiresize.com, you can put in the two tire sizes and it shows you the rolling diameter. The rolling diameter tells you how tall the tire is as it's moving. And that's important to know because if you change the height of your tire, it's gonna make your speedometer go wonky and it won't read correctly. Ask any Jeep person who puts massive tires on, uh, their speedometer will say they're going 40, but they might actually be going 47 or 50 or something crazy like that. And what it does is it throws off, like I said, your rolling diameter and you might get a ticket for thinking you're going the right speed. 
So that's an important baseline. So I'd always recommend you start with that. Um, so now you start thinking, okay, well, what have other people done and what have they gotten away with? So this is where I introduce either Facebook or the forums. I highly recommend that you go to the forums. And all you have to do is put in, like for this card, you put in Lexus ISF aftermarket wheels and then wham, up pops a 68 page thread with pictures and tons of people trying tons of different aftermarket wheels. Some people are getting absolutely burned having to rebuy tires or having to take their wheels back because they tried to go too aggressive. Other people are going, you know, not aggressive enough and are dissatisfied. And then there are people who are on there who have like, no, this is the preferred spec. I love it. And you can kind of draw a line in between all of those people. And so it takes quite a bit of investigative work is what I'm trying to say. And that's what I did. I think I spent like two or three weeks. I read that, you know, 68 page um, aftermarket wheels thread is what they call it twice. So I probably spent like, you know, I don't know how many hours on there trying to figure out what exactly would be the best setup for myself. And that's why I landed with this. The, like I said, 38 in the front offset, 38 in the rear. I have an eight and a half inch wheel in the front and a nine and a half inch rear. I do recommend if you are going to air, I recommend that you air on the less aggressive side because if you're, oh no, five millimeters short of being completely flush or where you want to be, you can very easily buy a five millimeter spacer and put it on there and then get your perfect fitment. Another thing I would like to mention is that the setup that I have on my car is not very common. I haven't seen it in the comment section very much and partly it's because each different wheel company has different offsets and so you kind of have to play with what they give you. Um, but what I will say is there is one very common, um, I guess, offset and size that I see a ton in the comments and it's a nine and a half inch wheel in the front and in the rear and the offset is 45. I can promise you guys right now if you buy a nine and a half inch front and rear and the offset is 45, you're not gonna rub it all and it's gonna give you a lot of grip. Um, I didn't do that because these wheels, which I love so very much, they didn't come in that size. But if they did, I would highly, highly consider doing it. Yeah, and also that, that package, it wouldn't be as flush as what I have and I kinda want the more um, better looking, aesthetic um, package. And what else do I have? What I have on my car right now, it does not rub. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but yeah, I've talked way too much. I'm sorry if I have completely bored you guys with all this, but there's nothing sweeter than buying your own set of wheels. Trust me, that, that moment when you get home and you get to unbox the wheels and you're like me and your anal, so you go ahead and you put your ceramic coating all over them so no water sticks to it. That's what I did. It took like four hours the very night I got them. But yeah, um, happy hunting when you buy your own set of wheels and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these. I absolutely love them. And with that guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it will help you when deciding on what wheels you would like for your own car. Thank you and leave any questions down below if you have them. We will see you on the next video. Peace.